What's good with you all? It's Steven. I'm going to provide my personal take on the upcoming energy of December 21st into the end of the year. I feel like I'd be doing you all a disservice if I didn't provide my own personal feelings about it, my intuition, everything that I've learned up to this point, everything I've discovered, um, all the sources that I have learned from others. It's uh, my responsibility to share that. And you may have heard this before, but you know, around that time, it's like um, solar flare activity will be evident. You, may, you can even go outside and you can literally see just the craziest things going on in the skies. Um, there's an alignment of planets that we haven't seen it in just such a long time and it's going to look just completely different. Um, solar flare activity, um, gamma ray activity, a sonic boom sound which will be heard by uh, everyone on the planet. This is all going to be taking place around that time, December 21st. Um, into you know the end of the year uh, until January 1st so you know understand that this is not a bad thing a lot of people honestly can, might will probably say that this is a nuclear weapon it's something to be feared you the media is going to blow this up tell everybody to stay inside that this is a massive just terrible thing um, but those who are connected to nature, connected to everything around them, the universe, the source energy, that we all understand that this is part of nature. This is who we are. And it's only an upgrade in our DNA. When you connect with it, you become part of it. You don't, you're not in resistance to nature. It's only the people who are, who are disconnected and they're out of balance, who don't know what's going on and they're acting irrationally. You know, there was this mind prophecy of December 21st of 2012, and you know, in Ethiopia and the Julian calendar system, right now it is 2012. And if you wanna say it's 2020, um, this is eight years after 2012, and eight is the number of completion. So this is a very uh, karmic and destined time right here. And there's so many aspects that go into this. There's, um, in astrology, there is the Jupiter and Saturn conjunction and the sign of Aquarius on this exact day of December 21st. If you don't know anything about astrology, Jupiter is a planet of expansion, growth, uh, luck, fortune, uh, your experience of the world. And Saturn is the concrete. It's being disciplined, something that's tangible and physical in this world and restrictions. So, you know, they're two different planets, but when they conjunct, it's like a, a new experience, a new adventure um, that can be concreted and put in a physical form. It's tangible. So this is a new world to be experienced. And there's no doubt about it. And even if you look past the astrology, you hear what other people are talking about it. You can feel the energy. It's a new world, a new system. It's not going to look anything like what you've seen before. The old world is behind us um, and yeah Aquarius it deals with connectivity it deals with innovation electricity it's unpredictable energy it's um so this is just the writing on the wall of a completely new world new new ways of connecting and not to mention that Jupiter and Saturn have not met up in an air sign in over 600 years and it's been that long, you can do your research, go ahead, go look it up. And for those of you who want to discredit astrology, I've, I've mentioned how astrology literally just means um, logging the patterns of the stars. And that's undeniable fact. Um, you're recording the patterns of the stars go in, the planets, all the, the celestial ob objects in the sky. That's un it's, it's not a debate. Um, I'm just going to keep going on with this. Um, you know, people are talking about how the power grid will likely shut down. There's going to be problems with power outages and stuff like that. 
And you know, around this time, when you when you combine Jupiter and Saturn and Aquarius, um, conjuncting, it's just undeniable how this is providing new ways of connecting. We're not going to need cell phones, uh, low frequency EMF waves, televisions, the media, etc., to connect with one another. It can be other ways. We're just going to have an upgrade in DNA and our abilities. You know, once you're connected to source and you are you're in alignment. And I'm going to tell you how you can become connected if you're already not or if you're struggling to, you know, because the lifestyles in which many of us live uh, keep us out of balance. There's been an agenda to keep pe people out of balance as much as possible, um, the inorganic ones, to try to keep them from ascending. And I'll tell you how you can, you know, from now until the event or until that energy comes, it's it, it's essential to connect with the cosmic current, to connect with nature, all that all that is natural. And you always want to be in the state of meditation, slowing down. You want to. It's it's very very important. Being in a state of med meditation to me is like you can always be meditating twenty four hours each day, never not be in the state of meditation. Um, it's you know people are so. Um, out of tune with themselves. They're always running around going very fast. They're not thinking, they're not slowing down and processing what's going on in front of them. They're out of balance. So slowing down, taking deep, deep breaths. I've talked about it. Um, deep breaths. And you want to make sure when you're breathing, go in as much of a natural area as possible where there's a lot of trees and plants where you can connect with the source with nature, anything that comes from the ground that comes that correlates to your diet. I go check out my nutritional um, video that I created. If something grows from the ground, eat it. You know, we don't even need to be eating. It's another thing. Try, you know, it's it would be beneficial to not eat as much during this time. One meal a day is plenty. If you're within yourself, if you're in tune with yourself, um, you know, we are evolving. We are mm -hmm transforming our DNA to where we, we are not needing to eat as much food physically anymore. But you know, that being said, an alkaline diet, hydration, make sure you are drinking plenty of water, uh, natural fluids, uh, got this coconut water right here. Just always stay hydrated. This, that, this is going to be huge. And you know, Cleanse your water with lemons, uh, charge it up in the sun. This is about being as electric as possible because Aquarius is the energy that deals with electricity. So it's, it's essential. I'm telling you right now, um, you know, your, your posture is very important. Like staying you're, when you stand, stand straight up. You want to, you don't want to be slouched down like this. It's something that I have worked on. Um, yeah, just be aware of your posture because, because this is how the Kundalini energy can flow through you and can allow you to be in a connection with nature very easily once you're in tune with yourself and your posture is, um, you know, allows you to, to keep to have that connection. Um, but yeah, all these things are going to allow you to upgrade your abilities. And if your frequency does not match the earth, then all, all this, this energy is, it's not going to work for you. You're not going to be able to handle it. And this is why the, the fear and the, the, the chaos, the pandemonium, um, on the media and within other people who are out of balance, it's going to be at an all time extreme. People are going to be getting so sick. Like, it's not even going to just be about this virus. Like people are going to be going crazy if they're out of balance. You have to be in tune with this energy. It's only increasing. And by December, it's going to be absolutely crazy. And it's everybody. It's not just me saying this. Everybody who's in tune with themselves, who has, is very spiritual, has this connection. We all understand this. And this is why we're preparing. We're preparing um, people that we care about. We, 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 we want to make sure that you are on that frequency. And if you're not, it's just like you, you missed the warnings. You, you, you didn't pay attention to the signs. 
and you you can't go against nature you can't just think that you can do whatever you want you know th uh, things to avoid you know everything that this society has pushed um they've pumped out fluoride into the waters pumped out toxic metals into the chemtrails G they put gmos um into the foods they have um you know we're in we're always in areas where we're breathing in heavy metals and this uh, doesn't allow the kundalini energy to flow through and i made a whole video go check out my nutritional video i talk about how to get all that stuff out how to strengthen your immune system black seed oil harataki powder chlorella all these things they're very 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 helpful for 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 having that connection with nature um, but yeah, acidic, your acidic diet, you know, if you're, if you're acidic, you have a lot of mucus in your system. This is going to be detrimental for you, especially now. Now is really the time to, uh, have low mucus within you, get how to get rid of the mucus, to not eat foods that are high in mucus. The, the acidic diet, it's not going to be. Um, good for you. You're not going to be able to be in tune with the energy when it comes. And I, I know I, I repeat myself a lot because I'm trying to drill this information into your head because it's so important. This is a warning to prepare for what's coming because you know what you have to do. You just have to, you have to execute. There's a, there's a difference between just talking about it and being a part of it, actually executing. This is so essential. Because now, these next three months, I'm going to call it like the preparation mode. It's really time you have until December, because it really is a new world we're about to experience. This is why the elites are hiding underground. They're out of tune with nature. They don't have any connection to the source, and they're going to be very, very uh, determined to get underground. So with that being said, that, that's my take on December 21st of this year. It's going to lead into the future and it's going to be a completely new system that we're going to be seeing. I would say after January 1st, um, from December 21st to January 1st, that is where you're going to see the period where uh, this, this crazy energy comes in. There's going to be the crazy freak outs. People are like, stay inside. The outside is dangerous. There's nuclear weapons. So and then they're going to be like, they're going to be, we all stay inside, stay inside. No, if you're connected to nature, you will be just fine. You will be upgrading your DNA, uh, gaining supernatural abilities, upgrades in DNA. It's going to be a beautiful time for, for those. It's going to be a clear split in, in the collective. Uh, there are those who will ascend and those who will not. It's all about your vibration, your frequency. What's the, where, where are you vibrationally? Um, it's that it says everything about you. You can't hide it. There's no faking it. It comes down to that. But I did write some notes on this. So if you want a screenshot of some of this, this is be hard to read, but that may be backwards. Hold on. You know, I will actually, um, and make a picture of this in the community page because I think that this is coming out backwards. Yeah. I'll just do that. So I, I really just wanted to express how I felt about this. Uh, I appreciate all of you who have to, who, who hear what I am saying and can understand where I'm coming from. I, um, I truly do appreciate it. I can't express that enough. If you have any thoughts about this, let me know. Um, share this information because it can be very helpful. You never know who can benefit from it. It can be very, it could be the difference between ascending and not ascending. So thank you all and peace out.